Well, we're learning more about how the coronavirus vaccine works and when you could get your shot. But many, of course, still asking a lot of questions about what comes next. When can your family be eligible? Each week we're answering your questions in our Friday check in with Dr. Larry Corey live this morning from Fred Hutch Cancer Research Center, helping to coordinate the national vaccine response. Dr. Corey, good morning. Pleasure to be with you, Jake. Pleasure Good to be morning. with you. Yeah, thank you so much for taking the time every Friday. First off, your colleague, Dr. Anthony Fauci, yesterday said uh, it will be, quote, open season in April, meaning every American could be eligible for the vaccine at that time. Eligible maybe, but what about the supply? What are your thoughts on what Dr. Fauci said yesterday? Well, uh, I think it's publicly released that we're buying um, uh, 100 million more doses of the Moderna vaccine and 100 million more of the Pfizer vaccine to get us up to almost 600 million um, uh, doses. So really essentially enough for the country. Now, I, I think what he is saying is, is that we're sort of in, in April, we're going to see that. And we hope also the the J&J &J vaccine. Now. There's a approval meeting coming up on February 26th, so not very far from now, um, to see uh, uh, if that's going to get an EUA. We frankly expect that. So mm -hmm. I do think we're going to see the supply um, aspects uh, markedly widened during the month of April. Yeah, that's so refreshing to hear that. All right, we have some fewer questions we want to get uh, to this morning. Uh, this one uh, from one of our viewers says, can we start talking about kids? We want kids to return to school and talking about the importance of vaccinating teachers, but I'm not hearing anything about kids who can both transmit and fall victim to COVID from Kristen and Polsbo. What do you think about that, Dr. Corey? Kids? Well, in my world, there's a lot of talk about it, um, cause it but it's still in the clinical trials down. Um, all the manufacturers are starting this, what we call the step down. So the teenagers essentially were, uh, you know, have been studied both in the Pfizer vaccine. Moderna has a large trial going on. It's just finishing enrollment. Uh, the step down now to five to 12 year olds. Uh, and then some companies are really, really thinking of going below five. I'm not sure whether a policy we need to, to go that young. But um, so the five to 12 year old studies are just getting started. So yes, um, the regulators want to um, have a good safety profile. That means the FDA. And so um, we're sort of on track. Uh, maybe the end of May or June to get all the data in to justify doing something before the fall. So um, keep tuned. Um, the science community is working very hard on this at the moment. Yeah, uh, that's a, that's refreshing as well. It's a big, big question. OK, Steve from Fife, Dr. Corey wants to know, and this is interesting, how much time do you need after you get your vaccine to take painkillers again? Um, just to sort of sum up his question there that I've heard that a few times. Are you can you take other medication well, they, around the time you get the vaccine? I mean, there's a there's a concern that um, that painkillers will dampen the immune response. Actually, there's very little data on that. And actually, for one of the vaccines in the UK, they used uh, acetaminophen. We call that tyl Tylenol, or I call it Tylenol, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, but it is officially acetaminophen that that was given routinely in, in one of the trials in the UK. So, I, I honestly think that that uh, if you have a fever, you should treat it with the, with, with Tylenol. Um, that if you uh, that's sort of preferable a little bit to using ibuprofen. But if you need to have you're having a side effect, you need to use it. Um, I think for an adult, uh, you should use it. Um, as as you know from these vaccines, um, the elderly tend to have less side effects yeah. than than younger people. Yeah, a lot of folks I know that have gotten the second dose have said the side effects are, are real, so we'll have to wait and see. First of all, we just want to also make sure that we're happy you didn't show up as a cat this morning, Dr. Corey. So thank you for zooming in um, and being a part of our newscast this morning. I hope you understood what I'm saying. <laughs> Boys, that's really weird. You, you, got me, you got me a little bit on that one. Okay. <laughs> He's too busy to look at I'll cat email viral you. videos. Thanks, Dr. Corey. <laughs>